If you look around, every material has some kind of structure. As a good example, look at the stone wall and the picture. Can you imagine that you have to model this from all of those tiny bumps and micro texture to variation in overall material height? Luckily, you don't have to. Instead of modeling the structure of the material, you can rather use maps that simulate it. They are called BAM map, normal map and displacement map, also known as the height map. The main reason for using them is to add surface details into low poly geometry and avoid creating high poly models that consume a lot of computational power. BAM maps and normal maps are used for simulation of tiny details in the structure of the material, like scratches or annual rings in the wood, and what's important is they do not affect the geometry itself, but create the illusion of the structure by changing the directions of the surface normals. As you can see, the main difference between them is that the BAM map is a grayscale bitmap and carry information about the orientation of the surface normal only in one direction, defined by the intensity of black and white values in every pixel. Compared to that, normal map stores this information in three directions, defined by RGB values. Orientation of surface normals is written in the red, green and blue channels of the normal map which represents X, Y and Z orientation of the surface normal in given pixel. It means that the normal map stores more accurate information about the surface structure and you should prefer it. In some cases you can use the BAM map for additional BAM mapping to create some extra details. The next important information is that in 3D software can be normal maps interpreted in two ways, OpenGL and DirectX. The only difference between them is the orientation of the green channel Y-axis. It's important to know what type of normal map your 3D software use. For this information, check the list below the video. Our materials have a normal map in OpenGL. If you want to convert it to DirectX, you can find in most 3D software or render engines checkbox for inverting green channel. If you don't find this option, you can open a normal map in Photoshop or a similar photo editing software, go to channels, select the green channel and with the command Ctrl plus Y invert it. To simulate bigger elevations in the surface, you have to use a grayscale displacement or so-called height map which affects the model geometry itself. The value from black to white defines the height range of the structure. Simply, white areas of the texture define higher parts of material and black areas define lower parts. As I mentioned, texture itself represents the range and in 3D software you are able to change the intensity of displacement effect based on your needs. Actually, the displacement map is similar to BAM map, but they are interpreted differently. For more accurate results you should use a 16-bit version of the displacement map. More bit depth brings smoother transition in grayscale values, which is crucial for the final detail. Find a texture with this 16 shortcut in our texture set, but keep in mind that it can affect the render time. So now we know what are these textures for. If you want to dive deeper into this topic or want to know how to use them in your 3D software, check the links below this video. This was Jirka from Revo.com. Thank you for watching.